Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to fill a semi-spherical bowl with water at a rate of 1,000 cubic centimeters per second, which is one liter per second. The radius of the bowl is 40 centimeters, and we want to know the rate at which the height of the water in the bowl is rising when the height of the water is half the radius of the bowl. To make things a little bit easier for now, because we don't have enough board space otherwise, the volume of the water portion of the bowl is going to be equal to pi r times h squared, h being the height of the water, minus pi over 3 times h cubed. In the next video, we're going to show you how we came up with that equation, but for now we're simply going to use it. So what we're trying to do is find dh dt, which means we need to find the relationship between the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. And maybe what I should do here, instead of using deltas, I'll simply write it as differentials. So dv dt is equal to that, and so that makes it a little bit easier. Let's now go ahead and take the derivative with respect to time of that equation. That means that the d dt of the volume is going to be equal to the d dt of the right side of that equation. So I'll write it like this. Pi r h squared minus pi over 3 times h cubed. All right, let's go ahead and take the derivative of the right side now. So we end up with dv dt is equal to, taking the derivative here we get 2 pi r h times dh dt minus, we bring the 3 down, so we have 3 pi divided by 3 h squared times dh dt. And of course what we're looking for here is dh dt, so we have to isolate dh dt, we can factor that out, we have dv dt is equal to dh dt times the first term we get 2 pi rh minus the second term, notice the 3 cancel, we end up with pi h squared. And so we can then write dh dt as dv dt divided by 2 pi rh minus pi h squared. Oop, that should be a square. And I made this line a little too long, so let's shorten it. All right, so that's dh dt. I think now we're ready to plug in what these are equal to. This is equal to dv dt is 1,000 cubic centimeters per second divided by 2 pi times the radius, which is 40 centimeters, times h, which is half of that, 20 centimeters, minus pi times h squared. h would be 20 centimeters, and we have to square that. Now notice in the numerator we have centimeters cubed per second. In the denominator we'll have centimeters squared, which means we'll end up with centimeters per second. The h dt will then be, and now we're going to need a calculator. I'm going to start with the denominator first, that's 800 times 2, that's 1600 times pi, minus, and that would be 400 times pi, 400 times pi equals, now we bring that to the numerator by taking the inverse of that, and then we multiply it times 1000. So it gives us a change of the height per unit times, that would be 0 0.265 centimeters per second, or 2.65 millimeters per second. So by adding one liter per second to this bowl, the water at this moment would be rising at about 2.6 millimeters per second. And that's how we do that. Now, since you might be curious of how we got this equation for the volume of the water portion of the bowl, on the next video we'll show you how to actually calculate that. And that's how it's done.